Welcome to Real Life with Jenny. My name is Jenny Sanapataratna. Grab your favorite drink, get a snack, and we'll get started. Today, I have my favorite, favorite tea, Lady Grey, and I have some dark chocolate peppermint cookies from Aldi that my husband bought a bunch of at the end of Christmas season. Woohoo! <laughs> so let's get real. You know, I have struggled for many years, almost 18 years, with something that is bizarre. Now, I realize I'm not the healthiest person out there, but <laughs> there was one day when I got out of bed and my husband was at work. I believe he was still working at his job at Ameriprise Financial, which um, was a great season in our life. And I was not working at that time. And so I got up and the whole world was spinning. Like I felt like, you know, after you spend a day at an amusement park and you're um, on the roller coasters, you feel like you're still moving and everything's kind of just moving around and spinning. And I was on my hands and knees, like not able to stand up because I was so dizzy and felt crazy. I called my mom and I was crying and she ended up helping me get to the doctor. And he was like, oh, you have vertigo. It's like a little thing that is in your ear and it moves back and forth. It'll come, it'll go, you know, don't worry about it. You're not dying. And I was like, okay, well, that's good. <laughs> that's a good thing. And so he gave me Dramamine because I was so motion sick because I was constantly moving. And I had that for about two to three weeks. I don't remember exactly. It's been a while. So I believe it was two to three weeks. That I took Dramamine just so I, you know, could keep all my food down kind of thing. And I still struggle with it from time to time today. Like I will turn my head and like the whole world will just kind of move around. And today I was getting ready for the day and I moved my head and the whole world just kind of spun for three seconds. And then I, you know, kept moving and I felt the Lord say, did you get it? And I was like, get what? What did I miss? Like, I started looking around the room, like, is there a Bible verse that I should have seen? Because I have those all over my house. <laughs> like, did I miss something that the Lord was doing? You know, like, was there something in my Bible reading this morning? You know, I just kind of like took a moment. And so I stopped and he's like, vertigo. And I went, vertigo? What does that have to do with anything? You know, this is something I'd never talk about. Um, I'm guessing this is new to my husband since that time that it happens, you know, every couple days, maybe even more than that. Um, just like you just hit something and you, everything spins. And he said, what about spiritual vertigo? What about emotional vertigo? What about financial vertigo? And I was like, okay, I get what you're saying. And you're going, Jenny, I don't. And that's okay. We're going to explain it. <laughs> so there's a moment that you're standing up or you're laying down or whatever. But for me, a lot of times it's I'm standing up. I'm standing up and I move a certain way with my head and my whole world just kind of takes a little merry-go-round and everything kind of looks blurry and it's a little scary, but I know that my feet have not moved. There is no movement in my feet. My whole body is still standing strong, but my, for some reason, my balance or what, I don't even know what the word would be. Everything feels off tilter and kilter, tilter. <laughs> you're tilting. Anyway, off kilter. <laughs> Sorry, I am finding myself very funny today. Um, but when you're going in with life and you know that God has given you promises, you read through the word of God and you're standing on the promises that he's given you in the word and you're standing on the promises that he has given you in your prayer time and you're walking in the path that he's walked, that he's given you. And all of a sudden, Everything feels off kilter and you're going, what's going on? Like, why am I so unbalanced? Why is everything going on? And then you look down and you see that you're still standing. Like there's been no movement, but everything feels chaotic and crazy. I feel like we so often then question, where's God? <laughs> and he's saying, I I'm your rock. I'm your rock. I'm the one you're standing on. I didn't move. My plans haven't changed. My promises haven't changed. My my love for you hasn't changed. Nothing has changed except that there's some vertigo in your life. And it feels like things are out of control, but I still have control. 
I still know what's going on. And it says, I don't know whether it's a song or in the Bible, and I feel kind of stupid that I don't know, but there's God is your rock. And all around you is sinking sand because sand is something that shifts and moves and is never in one spot. And a rock, it stands still. And I believe that God is saying to us, to me today, and maybe hopefully to you, that there are moments of vertigo in your life. And sometimes they last longer and they feel um, like they're never going to end. Like those two to three weeks where I didn't drive, you know, I was Every time I stepped out of the house, I felt like the whole world was spinning or I moved or moved my head or there's a 30 second moment. In fact, today I was doing some research online for something with a medical thing and I was just like, I cannot believe this is happening. Um, I don't know what to do. Like, I just felt like, do you even see me? And I remember thinking, do you even see me here, God? <laughs> do you even see this? And I took a second <laughs> and I walked to another room and I was like, okay, this is my vertigo moment. This is my moment where I know God's promises and I know that he has the best for me and I know that he has a plan and I know that he loves me and it doesn't feel like that right now. It feels like everything's spinning and out of control, but I know that my God is my rock. He is not the sinking sand and the shifting sand around me. He is my rock and he's the one I'm standing on. So I just wanted to come to you today and just say, are you in a situation where it's vertigo, right? Where it really, God hasn't moved. God hasn't changed, but it feels like he has. It feels like he's walked away and you're going, I don't know that I can do this anymore. That's the moment that we have to remember that God is our rock and that he, his promises and what he said in the word is truth and that he has a plan to give you a future and a hope. He has your best interest at heart and he loves you unconditionally. Like we talked about in the last podcast, unconditionally, there are no conditions. And so when the world feels like vertigo and your finances feel like vertigo and relationships feel like vertigo, that you can look down and see that you have not moved. You are still standing on the rock that is the God who loves you and has a plan. Well, that is all I have for you this week. We're going to keep it nice and short because I really feel like you may need to take a moment and go, Lord, there's a lot of vertigo. <laughs> there is a lot of movement and I do not see you in it. Show me you today, Lord. Show me a glimpse of you. Show me that you are my rock. And if you are on, on sand and you're out there moving around, I encourage you to say, Lord, I need to get back on you. I need to get back on the rock and I need to know your promises and dive into the word of God and see what the promises that he has for you are and realize that you don't need to be in sinking sand. You don't need to be in a place of unconsistency. You can stand in God's unconditional love and know that he loves you no matter what happens. So let's look for that rock today. You can find me at Real Life with Jenny on Instagram, Facebook, and Be Real. You can also find me at ChristConnection.cc. I am praying that you take time to see that the vertigo is just that. You are still standing on God and he still has consistently kept his promises and will keep his promises just because everything feels crazy and everything's spinning around does not mean that he has changed and I just pray that you feel his presence today that you feel his peace his joy his love in all parts of your life and that you will continually stand on the rock the rock that is higher than I and I'm grateful for who he is in my life and in yours have a great week.